Hi, I'm City Manager Ed Zerker, and welcome to another edition of Doing What Matters, the show where we talk to Phoenix employees about the work they do to serve the community every day. At the City of Phoenix, we really only produce one manufactured product, and that's clean water. Everything else we do is a service. And as a service business, we depend on great employees to serve the public. Part of having great employees is having great training and skills development programs. And so we're here today to talk to one of our employees who does that work in training, Colleen Dorame. Hi. You're an HR supervisor. I am. In? Organizational development. Organizational development. That's a mouthful. But what it really means is helping employees get better. Absolutely. It's about helping employees always having learning opportunities. Because what we know is if employees can continue to learn, then they can continue to offer even better services to our community. Now, a lot of time people are intimidated by the thought of being a lifelong learner because they think of school and classrooms and, you know, six hours a day and bells and all that sort of thing. But that's not really what organizational development is doing. Talk about the, the spectrum of ways that you teach people and, and help people learn. Right. That's a great question. So what we do is we have multiple approaches to learning. So not just in a classroom anymore. We could do online learning. We're actually looking at a learning management system right now so that we can do online learning and employees can actually learn at their workstations at their own pace. You could read a book. You could have a be a part of a think tank. There are so many other ways to learn and that's what we're doing here at the City of Phoenix. So what do we know about how people learn? What, what is, what is the, uh, the best practice in this sort of organizational development? The best practice is that you have to realize everybody learns different. Nobody learns the same, same way. And that's why you really want to look at different ways to approach learning. And that's what we're focusing here on in the city of Phoenix. So what would be some examples at the city of different ways that we're teaching people? Well, actually what we're doing is we're using some vertical development. And what that means is, for instance, if I gave you a book on how to drive a car, that's one way. But if I actually put you behind the wheel, and now you're driving the car, that's vertical development. So that's what we're adding to our programs. We're adding that application piece so that employees can get even better at practicing what they're doing. And you know, just to extend that a little bit, my daughter's currently learning to drive, and one of the nice innovations with technology is a simulator, so you don't have to go straight from the book to the scary street, you can go in a simulator. What, what kind of simulator type activities, or, or how are we using technology, I guess, in our training? We're actually just starting with the City of Phoenix using more technology. So again, like you just described, we'll have e-learning. And with e-learning, you can have pre-tests, post-tests. You can have roles where they'll actually pick what the best answer was, and they'll be able to watch a video on it. So, so much more that we can do now with technology. So we're really using this new way. It's not just lecture anymore, which no. I think is a relief to a lot of people. Right. That's right. So what impact do you see? So just a, on a personal level, uh, you know, we're talking about organizational development and vertical learning, and those are, are big concepts. But on an individual level for an individual employee, what sort of impact have you seen in your career? So let me, let me tell you about an experience that I had. I had an employee that I worked with, and when they first came to the organization, they wanted to do some leadership development. And so they went through some leadership development when they first came. I saw this person about six years later, and what they talked about was, you know, with that training, I was able to get a supervisory position, and now I'm in a director's position. So what they do is they're able to promote within the organization with the learning that they're getting right here in our organization. So it's pretty satisfying that, when somebody tells you that. That's got to be great. You know, and, and for me personally, I'm city manager now, but 15 years ago, I was in supervisory right. academy, and I, I still go and talk to supervisory academy, and it's the skills you learn there are really important. You guys do that uh, every day. Every now, one of the things we're really focusing on is being kind to the customer or customer service. I know you, you've thought a lot about customer service and how we get better at serving the customer. And we're going to maybe start adapting some of our programs and updating them a little bit. Let's talk about that for a second. Right. What are you working on? Right. So what we're working on is that, again, customer service, that's really the foundation of who we are. So it's every day, every customer. And that's what we really need to focus on. But there's so many different ways we can get that out to our employees so that they know about that. So whether it's it's job aides or whether it's supervisors actually working with their employees during a staff meeting and emphasizing again, that's who we are. Customer service is about us. So just finding different ways to make sure that it's in the forefront of all of our employees' minds. And sharing the stories of uh, good customer service. I get lots of lots of feedback about the good customer service we do. Sometimes not so good customer service, but learning from each other about what good customer service is. Right, the recognition piece. So it's really important that we showcase, like you said, any letters or stories that employees have about how customer service went right and what actually happened because of that. So again, 
bringing it to the forefront. That's great. So every day, every customer, we're going to hear more about that in the coming year. We are. Year. We are. That's wonderful. Look forward to it. Colleen Dorme, thank you for joining me. Thank, thank you. Thank you for being part of the learning culture at the City of Phoenix. It's great. Thank you. If you'd like to learn more about the work going on in our Human Resources Department, go to the website on your screen. For Doing What Matters, I'm City Manager Ed Zerker. <laughs>